Hi, I'm Alan Andreas, and welcome to Alan Ovation. In this ServiceNow Snack episode, I'll be discussing Glide Ajax. The goal of the ServiceNow Snack video series is to provide as much information as possible in about four minutes, hence providing you with a quick snack. After your snack, at the end of the video, I'll be having my own snack, which is featured from a random country, and I'll let you know my thoughts. Let's get into it. Let's define Glide Ajax so that we're all on the same page, and we'll do so by breaking it down into two words. The word Glide, which you'll see across the platform in various APIs, is said to have come from ServiceNow founder Fred Luddy after hearing a pilot say that the plane he was on was gliding into its destination, and that led Fred to name the company GlideSoft in 2003. Later, the name would be changed to ServiceNow. AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML, and essentially means it can send and receive information to and from the server in the background without impacting user experience. Glide AJAX tends to be intimidating to a lot of people due to involving more lines of code and different components, such as a client script and script include. However, as far as efficiency and performance are concerned, Glide Ajax tops the charts and knowing how to use it will build your confidence with scripting. Now that we've defined it and you know why you should use it, let's explore an example use case to cover how to use it. Here, we have a catalog item and we only want these two legal fields to appear if the user they select is a member of the legal team. To accomplish this, we need to use Glide Ajax to execute server-side code to check the user's group membership. As you can see, all fields are shown, so we'll use a UI policy to hide the legal fields when the catalog item loads. No condition is necessary as we want this to execute by default. We'll select our container variable in a UI policy action and set the visibility to false. Containers are a great way to group variables together. Since we'll be checking group membership for a specific group, it's recommended to store that group's sysid in a system property instead of hard coding it in the script. We'll create a system property of type string and we'll paste the sysid in the value field. For the script include, it's important to remember to check the client callable checkbox before saving. Next, we need to create a function that will contain the server-side code. We'll use glide record, see, there's that word glide again, to query the group membership table and add an additional query that the user is equal to the same user passed to the script include from the client script, retrieved via the get parameter method, and another query that the group is equal to the group we stored in the system property, retrieved via the get property method. We'll then use the hasNext method to return true if they're a member or false if they're not. Back in our catalog item, we'll create an onChange client script that'll execute when the select team member field is changed. Our script will call Glide Ajax and use our specific script include we created a moment ago. We'll also specify the script include function via the sysparm underscore name parameter. Additionally, we'll pass new value, which contains the selected user's sysid. To execute the Glide Ajax call in the most efficient way, we'll use getXMLAnswer, and we'll specify a callback function to not hold up the browser. Now, we'll write the script for the callback function, passing answer as a parameter. If the answer is true, we'll show the container which has those legal fields, Otherwise, we'll hide the container and clear any value from the legal fields. Let's see how it all turned out. When the form first loads, the legal policy fields don't show. Thanks, UI policy. We'll select a non-legal team member just to see what happens. No legal fields show. Now, we'll select a legal team member, and voila, the legal fields show. Let's type in some information into these legal fields and then switch from a legal team member to someone else and then back again. You'll see that the legal fields were cleared of their values. 
Here's an additional example of a script include function that avoids the glide record query completely and uses only one line of code to check the selected user's group membership. You can do so much more than what we've shown here. If you'd like to learn more about Glide Ajax, I invite you to check out the links in the description. I hope you enjoyed your snack. Now it's time for mine. So today I'm going to be trying a product from Austria that's called, it's made by a company called Manor, and it's essentially some chocolate wafer cookies. And so here's a little bit of the back information. But, you know, for me, I do like chocolate and I do like wafer cookies, and I'm a big fan of uh, Little Debbie Nutty Buddy bar kind of things. So this seems to be similar to that. And so... Uh, as you all know from my other videos, I'm not a big fan of trying new things, but I'm going to try to go ahead and see uh, how this goes here. So when you first open up the package, I've already torn it pre-video just to kind of get it ready, but it kind of does a little, little thing here. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and open it up a little bit more. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's a nice little... Um, chocolate layered uh, nougat kind of thing here. So let's see what happens. Okay, not bad. Uh, it's definitely more refined tasting than a uh, little Debbie Nutty Buddy bar, a little bit classier. And um, yeah, it's not too bad, it's a little bit dry. I kind of figured that looking at the package and how it was, but a little bit dry, but really not too bad. It's leaving a bunch of crumbs kind of all over the place here, so I'll have to clean that up. Yeah, so I mean, not not bad at all. I love trying these things from other countries. A little bit hesitant, obviously, you know, off camera before doing this, but really after giving it a shot, this one tastes pretty good. It's pretty on the level as far as things go, but definitely a big shout out to Austria, uh, the Manor Confectionery uh, Company out there, and you have some great chocolate wafer cookies. So that's about it, folks, for this episode of the ServiceNow Snack where we covered Glide Ajax. If you enjoy ServiceNow content like this, don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. So once again, my name is Alan Andreas, host of Alan Ovation. Until next time, take care.